Here in Schaumburg Township, you have a very large South Asian community. It's part of the 8th Congressional District, which uh, is around 8 to 9 percent Asian American. It is the site, this district, of the first Asian American elected to Congress in Illinois, uh, Tammy Duckworth. We're outside of Hoffman Estates Police Department, which is a polling place for three of the precincts uh, that are covered uh, by federal law to be uh, designated for Asian Indian language assistance. What you'll find is Hindi translated materials. You'll also find uh, bilingual election judges that speak not just Hindi, but also other South Asian languages that are commonly spoken by voters. Some people may recall in 2004, uh, Chinese was federally required, became a federally required language. Uh, and so what you're seeing is more and more as the Asian community grows uh, in population, we're one of the fastest growing uh, communities in Illinois, more and more uh, our voters are having language assistance available to them. So voting for the first time can be uh, a very trying experience and so anything that they can do to make that experience positive and smoother, uh, it really benefits everybody by increasing the access to the ballot. Asian Americans Advancing Justice Chicago uh, is a part of a national affiliation with affiliates in San Francisco, D.C., uh, and L.A. Uh, we do voting rights work. One of the things we do is poll watching. Uh, now, we're nonpartisan, and while we are a progressive organization, uh, one of the things we feel is important, whether you're a conservative or a progressive or a libertarian, that uh, your right to vote should be protected. Uh, and we want to make sure that the language assistance that's uh, mandated by federal law is available to all voters because we think when everybody gets a vote, everyone has equal access to the voting, we as a democracy uh, all benefit. And so that's one of our core missions, you know, that's why we're here today.